Welcome back friends. So, we uh, in the last class we talked about using crosswords for uh, developing and enhancing your vocabulary. Indeed, crosswords are an interesting way of developing and enhancing your vocabulary. If you are able to situate those words in a particular context like we are going to do in a in an exercise that we are going to I am going to show you right away and remember that last time I spoke to you about doing a crossword puzzle because of lack of time we could not complete it, but we are going to do it today. Remember uh, if you cultivate the habit of solving crosswords puzzles as they appear in uh, newspapers and magazines, this exercise will help you in understanding and thinking through words with context and meaning. So, let us look at this puzzle, here is the slide for you complete the crossword with the help of the clues given. I will give you the clues, you can download this particular crossword, this style and uh, remember the words that we are going to do are related to finance and marketing. So, this is the template and these are the clues across and down, you know across those are the sideways down up from top to bottom. So, amount of money that is used, working dash is the money business, um, a dash hotel offering cheap rooms, mediations to fix a uh, price. Remember the numbers also, this is the way crosswords work. You have to be, be very particular about the numbers, which word goes where and how many um, letters does each word contain down to reach a point where profits are equal to cost to price reduction, then number 4 high tech surveillance tool, number 6 short phrase used to advertise something and these are your answers because I do not want you to spend too much time in this, this is just one uh, example, just an example to show how crosswords can develop your vocabulary. So, these are the words across budget hotel for example, number 5 is the kind of hotel that uh, um, sort of uh, gives you facilities uh, at not so expensive exorbitant prices and here are the downwards words that work in the down section break even, discount, drones and tagline. Try to use these words here in this particular crossword puzzle that you have been given and see how it works out. If you develop this habit of uh, regularly sorting or solving crosswords, pu crossword puzzles, you will find indeed that you are going that your vocabulary has improved um, you know at a very fast speed. Now, let us move on and look at this particular passage. Change management is having its moment, there is no shortage of articles, books and talks on the subject, but many of these indicate that change management is some occult subspeciality of uh, management, something that is distinct from managing itself. This is curious given that when you think about it, all management is the management of change. The job of management always involves defining what changes need to be made and seeing that those changes take place. Even when the overall aim is stability, often there are still change goals to reduce variability, cut costs, reduce the time required or reduce turnover for example. Once every job in a company is defined in terms of the changes to be made, constant improvement can become the routine. Now, look at the words here, find the meanings, use your dictionary, change management is having its moment, what does it mean to have one's moment? This expression, this idiomatic phrase occurred in the passage you have just read, what does it mean? Occult, subspeciality turnover, variability. Now, these are not just words, random words, but we have taken these words from a certain context, right. So, occult, sub 
specialty variability in what context do we use these words when business english is concerned turnover of course so turnover is such an important word in business english remember business english is one kind of english which regularly updates itself the kinds of words that existed um, let's say 30 40 years ago are redundant and in the last couple of decades a host of new words have come into uh, the lexicon of business english communication that way it is a very exciting area because it's business english is never stagnant although you may find you know you have a certain format of writing letters and reports that re remains although there are changes in the format as well because of the newer ways of writing but uh, voc where vocabulary is where uh, uh, vocabulary is concerned we are finding that more and more words are inducted in business english communication now um, look at this slide using the words given below fill in the blanks so routine mindset techniques bifurcation resistant operations fill in the blanks using these words and fill in the blanks this is your exercise each innovation brings lessons that inform ongoing dash the organization becomes a perpetual motion machine change never occurs as some sort of happening it is part of everyday life today's change management movement has arisen in response to the difficulty companies have had in making constant rapid improvement a dash aspect of work efforts to overcome this have led to the dash of organizational life into ordinary times and change management times as an increasing number of people take on the role and dash of the change management professional instead of striving to make innovation and improvement routine they naturally encourage the treatment of change as something special managers start to view change as an extraordinary event that must be dealt with using change management dash and special skills and then it's easy for people to become dash to change so using these words that you have just seen fill in the blanks i'll show you the slide again if you have missed out routine mindset techniques bifurcation resistant operations use these words in the exercise given here this is the reference this is the website that i have taken this passage from and this is the solution each innovation brings lessons that inform ongoing operations please understand this is this is the way it is pronounced operations it's not operations operations means when uh, you know money lender oppressing farmers or weavers okay but this is operations not oppression the the organization becomes a perpetual motion machine change never occurs as some sort of happening it is part of everyday life today's change management movement has arisen in response to the difficulty companies have had in making constant rapid improvement a routine aspect of work efforts to overcome this have led to the bifurcation of organizational life into ordinary times and change management times as an increasing number of people take on the role and mindset of the change management professional instead of striving to make innovation and improvement routine they naturally encourage the treatment of change as something special managers start to view change as an extraordinary event that must be dealt with using change management techniques and special skills and then it's easy for people to become resistant to change so uh, we were just talking about how business english uh, business vocabulary keeps itself or keeps on updating itself over the years and uh, here look at some of the words of course some of them have always been in existence for example clause and agenda um also business plan 
perhaps, but look at the words like startups, USP, cold calls, okay. these were not so common, they are new words in business English communication. So, what do these mean? So, please look at the slide here. Business plan is a document that lists out the propositions of your company. Startup, as most of you know, is a new business venture. USP is a unique selling proposition. What is your USP? It is not just a company, but also a human being or person that who can have his or her USP. Cold calls unexpected. I am sure that most of us keep getting uh, cold calls, unexpected calls made to customers by the sales uh, representative of a particular company. Thinking outside the box is to think creatively and clause is a contractual statement. Agenda is the list of things that is to be done during a meeting. Sorry about the spelling, meeting with one G only. So, this is the way uh, we keep on enhancing our vocabulary, coming across new words and perhaps trying to understand the meaning of those words. Now, um, let us look at this slide also, Eff afford or afford, borrow, lend, invoice, these are the kinds of uh, vocabulary which are specific to finance. To afford something is to indicate an ability to buy something, to borrow is indicate, uh, it indicates the action of asking somebody else for something like money or the agreement. To lend indicates the, la uh, the act of giving somebody something they have asked for. To owe indicates the state in which you have to pay for something due to a previous commitment. So, these are the kinds of words that you need to know. Now, look at this slide, these are sales and marketing types of expressions target, expansion, break even, deal. A target is a goal which the company tries to achieve. Expansion, it indicates the company's hope to increase its sales and thereby become bigger. Break even, the state in which the company achieves neither profit nor loss. It has just sort of broken even. And deal, an agreement that the company signs. Retailer is a company that sells their services directly to the public. And then let us look at these examples. Rise, raise, lower, fall, grow. Rise and grow, they are synonym of increase. Fall is decrease. Raise is to make something increase. Okay? So, you are raising something, not rising something and lower is to make something decrease. Now, here is a, an exercise for you, please look at this slide. Fill in the blanks with using the words given afford, to afford something, to borrow, land and invoice and owe. Oh. Could I dash that picture for a moment, it seems very familiar. Kindly send us the dash for repairing our fridge, I dash him rupees 500. I cannot dash those shoes, could I dash rupees 1000 from you, we dash all those laptops for a week. Please remind me to send Mrs. Anoka a copy of her dash, the bank will dash you money, do not worry, however, if you dash from the bank, you would have to pay an interest. Exercise 2.5.2, fill in the blanks with using the words target, expansion, break, deal, market, customers. The American bank has begun its dash into the Japanese dash as well. They have set a dash of serving at least 2 million people over the next few years and 5 million dash over the next 5 years. The bank has also struck a dash with local Japanese companies. It is hoped that the operation will dash even by the 2030. And then next exercise, choose the correct word. Set 1. I need to send an dash for the number of shoes I sold last week, ink bottle, emblem, invoice. Second, they hope to finalize their dash with ABC Enterprises by the end of this month, A invoice, B deal, C market. Next, number 3. These shoes are shiny and bright. The company had as their dash customers are a young children aged. 5 to 10 required target sample. 
Number 4, the firm hopes to dash by the year to, uh, 2100, break even, collapse, expand both A and C. Next exercise, fill in the blanks with using the words rise, raise, lower, fall, grow. 1. The bank dash rose fell raised its interest from 10 percent to 20 percent. There was a sharp dash in profits this time, fall invoice break. Next, since tablets and kindles are readily available now, interest in ebooks is growing, declining, happening. The recent advertisement helped us dash our profiles, rise, lower, raise. And next exercise, choose the most appropriate word or phrase here. She told me that the turnover was good. It must be true since the results are dash A convincing, B hard working, C promising, D none of the above. 2. We are quite in a fix here. The problem is really dash A convincing, B tricky, C easy, D none of the above. Number 3. Either you do this or you do not, it is all or dash A nothing, B everything, C something. 4. She wants that job so badly, if not she would be dash A nothing, B back to square 1, C everything. Number 5. The company boasts of dash equipment, A excellent, B state of the art, C good. Number 6. I had not expected it, losing the contract was a dash to swallow. A. Devastating, B. Bitter pill, C. Sweet chocolate. Next exercise, choose the correct expression. A. Uh, first one, the product was not received well in Tamil Nadu. The sales dash A. Bombed, B. Exploded, C. Didn't happen. 2. In the last meeting, the CEO decided to check and eliminate the dash as efficiently as he could to ensure Smooth functioning of the company, A weeds, B bottlenecks, C inefficient parts. Number 3, her speech was so inspiring, she provided us with a dash account of how Steve Jobs interviewed her, A beautiful, B amazing, C blow by blow. Number 4, the dash is the only way to make quick money these days, black market, retailer, bottlenecks. Here are your answers. Please tell your answers. Exercise 2.5.1. One borrow, first is borrow, second is invoice, three, third is owe, fourth is afford or borrow, fifth is invoice, sixth is lend and borrow. Exercise 2.5.2. .2. Number one, expansion, second market, third target, four customers, five deal, six break, break even. Yeah. Exercise 2.5.3, first C invoice, second B deal, third B target, fourth D both A and C. Exercise 2.5.4, for 1 C raised, 2 A fall, 3 A growing, 4 C raise, 5 invoice, C uh, sorry 6 Len and borrow. Exercise 2.5.5. 1 C promising, D to B tricky, 3 A nothing, 4 B back to square 1, 5 B state of the art, 6 B bitter pill. Exercise 2.5.6. 1 A bombed, 2 B bottlenecks. What are bottlenecks? If you look up the dictionary, you will find that there are certain uh, points in a business deal where you reach a bottleneck. You look at the neck of a bottle and you will find that if you reach something uh, at a point called bottleneck, it looks like you are stuck somewhere, you are not progressing, things are not moving. So, that is a bottleneck. And what is bombed? Bombed is not literal here, but it means it is a huge failure, a dismal failure. It did not take off. And of course, you know, blow by blow is a moment by moment, moment, every minute. So, third is B, blow by blow account of something. You give a blow by blow account of something that is a minute by minute 
account of something. It is a very popular word. 4 a black market, 5 b break and 6 b the book. All right. Now, here again take a look at this exercise 2.5.7 and solve the following crossword. Look at this, we have given you the source. Clues across and clues down. Okay. So, I will first show you clues across. First, boss, man in charge of a company, 5, something a business may, businessman may take and lose, 7, trade, buying and selling things, 9, speak, 10, well, 11, buy, 12, animal, 13, reserve of unused or unsold goods. Number 14, very bad period of recession for industry and trade. Number 15, a written agreement. Number 17, opposite of closes. Number 20, labor organizations in industry. 21, neither this or that. 22nd, to manage to organize. Number 23, to come together in the same place. 24, man to whom a family business is often given and close down. Second, abbreviation often found after the name of an American corporation. 3 part of a building, 4 essential equipment in most firms today, 5 selling to the general public opposite of wholesale, 6 man who sells, 8 opposite of poor, 10 a reduction in the usual price, 11 a share, 8 opposite of poor, 10 a reduction in the usual price, 11 a share, 12 to repeat something usually in written form in order to be certain, 14 reserves. 16. Something of positive value. 18. To make money. 19. Do this to a letter to make sure it arrives. So, you have given, you have been given across and down. And let us look at this also. Another crossword. Across. 1. Future delivery method. It is a 6 letter word. 4. A M A N is Amazon's mobile dash network. It has 2 letters. Electronic book, it has five letters. Number eight, Amazon's features, um, an arrow pointing from A to Z, four letters. Nine, customer dash are a key feature of Amazon site. Seven, eleven, Amazon's e-reader, six letters. Thir Thirteen, Bezos was Times person of the dash in 1999, four letters. Fifteen, Kindle Unlimited is Amazon's dash. You can read plan, three letters. 18, you can dash with one click on Amazon, um, 19 part of Amazon's logo, 20 price reduction, the fire HD 8 is Amazon's latest dash, 6 letters, 22, Bezos is Amazon's founder and CEO, 4 and down, 1, the uh, um, in Amazon.com is pronounced, 3 and second, 3, Amazon is now the world's biggest. Number 5, free dash is available on orders over so much, 8 letters. 6, our, drones, our drone delivery is just pi in the dash, 3 letters, 10, fulfillment centers, 12, the shopping cart is called the dash of Amazon dot, this it has 6 letters. Number 14, where Amazon's headquarters are situated, 7, number 16, Amazon offers a dash price guarantee on all TVs, 17 for Amazon dash is more important than profits, 18 Amazon's special membership program, 5 letters. Here are the answers, before we do more exercises, let me give you the answers to this these exercises, the crossword puzzles that we have just done. you will see how they occur. Early advertise, advertise, graphs, due, secretaries, desk, stay, sent, dictates, check, 
invoices, bills, set. And in the Amazon exercise, you will find many of the words that have come to become a part of your everyday vocabulary. Drones, delivery, basket, warehouse, discount, tablet, arrow, kindle, online, ebook, etc. Now, let us go on to look at next exercise and vocabulary for meetings. Here I am giving you a list of idioms and phrases that you can use for business meetings. First, dash I cannot agree with, it shows disagreement. How about dash for suggestions, have I made that clear, clarifying me something. Join mean congratulating for congratulating some, someone. Has anyone else got anything to add asking for comments? Let us get back on track, shall we? So, this is the way we um, write or you speak. Mostly, this is uh, in uh, spoken form, but it is also in written form. For example, um, uh, I am afraid I cannot agree with. So, this is a very polite way of disagreeing with someone rather than a point blank. Um, refusal to do something, you have to say I am afraid, I do not have some, I do not have enough time or enough experience to deal with such kind of a, of a problem or ex issue. Uh, how about, it is always a good thing to ask for suggestions and not monopolize conversation in a conversations in a me and discussions in a meeting. Join me in congratulating it can be used in uh, written as well as a spoken form. Now, let us look at this exercise before we wind up for the day, choose the correct phrase. First, may I have a dash please, I think we should deliberate upon this for some more time. A word B coffee C cucumber, now it is very clear because we are talking about business meeting, the answer has to be may I have a word here please, I, that means can I say something having a word. Second, I think I am going to have to dash with Mr. Ram here, he makes an excellent point. Mm, so, if he is making an ex excellent point, it cannot be disagree or agree or not uh, or, uh, and no, or not agree, it has to be agree. I think I am going to have to agree with Mr. Ram here, because he makes an excellent point. And next one, third, dash me, could you dash that point once again please. A stop me, understand or excuse me or start me, the best choice is excuse me, could you repeat that point once again please. So, this is one way of making your presence felt in a meeting, excuse me, politeness, could you repeat that point once again please, so, pl using please is also a way of showing politeness. So, politeness is extremely important, it is important in everyday life of course, but especially in business uh, communication because a lot is at stake here. You are not talking to your family members and your friends, of course you have to be polite with them also, but you have to be extra polite when you are in a more formal setting because you are dealing with people who you are not really um, on black back slapping terms with or you are not on very close terms with, intimate terms with. So, you have to be more polite, or you have to be polite, or you have to be extra polite with people in business situations. Fourth one, dash putting this off until our next meeting next Tuesday. I think putting this, I see putting this, I suggest putting this of until our next meeting next Tuesday. And next one, number 5, I am sorry, but I did not quite dash your last point there. Could you please repeat it? The question mark is I am sorry, but I did not dash your last, last point there. It is a full stop, not a question mark. A catch, B understand, C, D, catch and understand none of the above. So, you can use A as well as B here, the answer is D 
catch your point or because I could not you know it is an informal way of saying that I could not get it or I could not it could even be understanding understand your point. So, I am sorry I could not understand your point please could you repeat it. So, that is what we have been doing for our business vocabulary and uh, thank you very much. I hope you keep on doing more exercises on your own and readings on your own. Today we have done a couple of crossword puzzles, try to solve some puzzles, it would be fun as well as very beneficial to enhancing your vocabulary. So, thank you very much.